So let's start right now by creating a brand new game in Scratch 3.0. So I will click to start creating. It is very important to sign in to log in to Scratch. So please go right here and sign in with your username and password. If you don't have username and password, then please register to Scratch because if you can, uh, if you are signed in, then you can share your project. You can uh, save your project in inside your uh, cloud host in Scratch. So you can then use it again, open it and use it. Uh, so I will start right now by creating a new game. So you can click here, file, new file then Scratch will create a brand new project and I will name this project The Scary Shark Game so I will have a very scary shark that will eat other fish inside the ocean and it's time uh, that the shark uh, eats another fish then uh, the score will uh, will increase uh, but if uh, he uh, if uh, our fish is eaten finally by the shark then we are going to lose one life so let's start right now i will not use this cut so you can go right here click this x button and the cut will disappear so then go right here and add a new sprite so i will choose a sprite i will go right here as you can see there are a lot of sprites uh, actually there are categories right here and also you can search right here what do you want to use so i will add a shark i will add this shark uh, so if you can uh, go your mouse right here and hover above uh, the image then you can see all the animations that are included inside this sprite so I will use this shark right here and then I will try to add a backstage to my game so I will go here to the backdrop I will click right here and exactly in the same way there are a lot of backdrops I will, there are also categories right here so you can see uh, what you would like to use I will use um, I will use something like I will try to use sea no ocean okay this is perfect underwater one so I used underwater one so this is my shark in underwater so i will start right now uh, my shark will move uh, with my mouse so i will tell to this shark that when the flag is clicked so go to the events and then drag and drop when flag is clicked then uh, go to looks go to looks and use the uh, the no sorry here to looks and drag and drop so so the shark will be in the stage and then I would like to change uh, to set size to 50% so okay so now it is a small shark right here and then I would like to say that forever 
if drag if drag and drop if if the distance the distance this is if the distance so go to sensing distance to mouse pointer and drop it here if the distance to mouse pointer is greater than 10 so go to operators and choose this one and drag and drop it right here and then get distance to mouse pointer right here is greater than 10 then go back to motion and change and point towards mouse pointer exactly right here and then I would like to move move 10 steps so let's go and see what we did as you can see wherever is my mouse the shark is going towards my mouse okay so I will stop it right now and then I will go and add another sprite that will be a fish so let's type here fish I will add this one so I add this fish and I want a smaller fish so I will uh, I will use this one no sorry I will change the size right here to 50 so this is a smaller fish and then I will program it so that it can uh, swim inside my ocean so I will tell to my fish that when to the events when the flag is clicked then forever go to control forever then go to motion I would like to turn to turn but not 15 degrees I would like to turn and I will use uh, I will use the I will use I will go right here to operators and pick random from minus 15 to 15 degrees and then go back to motion and click move I will move not a 10 I will use something smaller 8 steps for example and then if on edge bounds so let's try right now and I will see okay you can see that my fish is moving fast so if you would like to have something that will move uh, not so fast then go and change them to five steps for example and try again then you will see that the fish is not very uh, is not moving very fast so what I'm going to do right now is I would like to change the behavior of the shark that when is close to uh, this fish he will open his mouth and eat this fish so I will stop my game for now I will go back to the shark and I uh, will change a little bit my code right here
So I will program the fees. I will click to the fees to have some uh, additional uh, commands right here. So we'll change the behavior of the fees. I will click to the events and I will click another when uh, flag is clicked. So I will have two separate behaviors for this fees. I will use a variable. I will use a variable that I will name it score for all sprites when score is zero then I would like to uh, to be shown sorry I would like first of all when uh, flag is clicked to set variable set score to zero I can then forever forever I will go to control forever if the face now go to sensing if the face uh, touches shark so please click shark right here if uh, the face touches shark then I would like to to broadcast message one but I would like to change the message and do it face eaten this is a message face eaten so it will be broadcasted this it will broadcast this face eaten message and then I would like to change the score change the score uh, by 10 change score by 10 then I would like to uh, disappear because this fish is eaten by the shark so I would like to go to looks and then I would like to be hidden so then it will wait for uh, maybe two seconds so control uh, no no I would like to go to looks So I will go to the events and then uh, I'm sorry to the control and then I will wait for two seconds and I will go to X it will be uh, for example minus 200 but I would like to be in a random position so I will go back to the operators and click pick random drop it right here to the Y and pick random from minus 180 to to 100 and 80 minus 180 to 180 and then I would like to be shown so go back to motion and click to uh, sorry to looks and click to show so now let's go game is started and up score 
increased by 10 and this is again the face score is 20 right Forty, fifty. Okay, so let's go back. I would like to uh, add another face. I would like to add a uh, a toxic face. That if the shark eats this face, then uh, the shark loses. We lose inside the game in the game. So. Uh, we will use that uh, shark, we will use a toxic face and we will add some more faces inside our ocean. So all these, uh, we, we will go on with all these in the next lesson. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson.